you want me to play? Sometimes I think about what my life would be like if I didn't break my neck and I mean nobody really wants to go through that but I've learned to see the silver linings in a lot of things so a lot of good things did come out of it. And that's it really. Oh, did you want to see my dad? I have this cool picture of my dad. He ruined all of our couches with tanning oil. <laughs> My best friend Jess, it was her 23rd birthday, so we all went out to New Paltz to celebrate. It was three o'clock in the morning and we all fell asleep and unfortunately the driver fell asleep too. We went off the road into the trees and the sound of my neck snapping is what woke me up. I, at that point, couldn't feel my arms. I was screaming to my friends that, guys help, I can't move my arms, I can't move my legs. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, so we all got out and sat at the side of the road. Uh, the ambulance came. That's when they saw that it was actually a severe trauma. And they got in touch with Dr. Oppenheim's team. She came into the hospital still able to move, but with a very unstable fracture that threatened her, that if we didn't act and didn't act quickly, she could have wound up just like Christopher Reeve quadriplegic in a wheelchair for the rest of her life. But at Orange Regional Medical Center, we have the ability and the tools to be able to prevent that from happening to her. That's when I realized that it was an extremely risky operation. There was a lot of things in line. I could have been paralyzed. I could have not woken up from a surgery, um, but I trusted Dr. Oppenheim. He came in the room confident he came in there knowing what was going to happen. He's told me he's done this a thousand times before. And so we took her to surgery, performed a fusion on her using microsurgery and the tools and the team that are available at Orange Regional Medical Center to provide this kind of critical life-saving work. And by being able to do that, we could return Melissa not only to the activities that she would enjoy, athletics and being able to be an active member of her community, but also allowed her to fulfill her dreams. So my mom has been a nurse here for 30 some odd years, and obviously she wants the best care for me. She knew that Orange Regional was the best care. I realized that not everything was a big deal anymore, so I found more pleasure in tinier things in my life. So I journaled for an hour every day, and I just, I would write down the incident over and over and over again because that's the way that you get over trauma is just desensitizing yourself to it. I did a lots of arts and crafts. I did a lot of coloring. I painted this little bottle of the Mohonk skyline. I read a lot of books. Um, I wrote my friends letters and postcards once a month just to let them know how I was doing. I played the guitar a lot. I went on a lot of walks <laughs> around the park. And Melissa's going to now go on and work in the medical profession and get a degree and spend her life giving back. And that's a really deeply touching story. She's now going to be doing for other people what Orange Regional Medical Center and our community was able to do for her. Being a community hospital, they had everything within their reach that I needed. They have the technology, they have the resources, they have the intelligence to do it all.